Well done, everyone. Personally, I think we need a better defense. The other teams have got really good keepers. We haven't a luxury. Ron's doing better than you could, McLaggen. Just offering some friendly advice. One keeper to another. Well, take your advice out of our training room. You're not on the team, McLaggen. Hello, Harry. Are you ready for potions? I've looked, but I can't find anything on Horcruxes in the library. I've been thinking. Maybe, if you make a really good potion in today's lesson, it will put Professor Slughorn in a good mood. Then he might tell you what he's hiding from Dumbledore. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh no! McLaggen! He makes Grawp look like a gentleman. I'll see you in potions. Hey, Granger! Granger! So, is she seeing McLaggen? Well, they went to Slughorn's Christmas party together, but it didn't go well. Yeah? Come on, let's go after Hermione. Let's go to potions. Incendia! Where are you going? Oh, is this way. Hello, Potter. I'm a member of the finest duelling club in Hogwarts, Slytherin. We've noticed that you're quite the duelist. I therefore permit you to challenge me to a duel. Uh, no thanks. We're on our way to potions. I'm not asking you, Potty. I'm telling you. Superfire! Expelliarmus! Superfire! I didn't really try anyway. Come along to our dueling club in the paved courtyard for a real challenge. Why is Slytherin such bad losers? Come on, let's go to potions. into a wall in Quidditch or something. What's the matter? Someone's done something to my books. And the stupid things won't stop flying around. Come down! Right. Have you tried anything other than shouting at them? Like Wingardium Leviosa? No. I wish one one was here. He'd do something. Have you seen him? No. Here, if I cast Wingardium Leviosa on your bag, I can try and catch the books in it. You've got one! Get in the bag, you books! Thank you. One more news. That book to do his homework. You're almost as good as Ron! Thank you. Are you sure you 
you've not seen Ron? Uh, yeah, I have. He was in the divination tower. Why would he go there? He doesn't do divination anymore. He said he wanted to ask something important. About his future. It must be about us. That's why I like my one one so much. He's always thinking about us. Thanks. Are you ready for potions, one one? Pack it in. Quickly now, quickly, we have lots of work to get through, starting with antidotes. Now, what about this poison here? Any suggestions? Miss Granger, of course. It requires a very complex antidote, but I think you should start with a drop of castor oil. Good, good. Harry, my boy, any suggestions? Uh, yeah, you could do that. Or you could just shove a bazaar down the victim's throat. Yes, yes. A bizarre would certainly do the trick. Excellent, my boy, excellent. Shush! A good potion maker always knows how to counteract the potions they are making. Which brings us to the task at hand. Brewing an elixir to induce euphoria. Can induce excessive singing and nose tweaking if you don't put enough peppermint in? Mint sprays. Shrivel thing. Tom Riddle, didn't you? Mr. Riddle had many teachers whilst here at Hogwarts. I know, sir. You must get fed up of questions about Voldemort and Horcruxes. I'd ask you not to talk about this subject. But, sir... Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Didn't he? I just want to know about Tom Riddle. Give me a bazaar. I need a good mark in potions. I had to soften Slughorn up so I could ask about Voldemort. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get something to eat. McGonagall wants to see you in the astronomy tower. So why would she send someone from Slytherin? I'm not your personal messenger. Don't ask her yourself. But the aura shut the astronomy tower. Then they've obviously reopened it, haven't they? Have the Auras reopened the Astronomy Tower? I believe they have, yes. Libraries Liberate. You speak the password, so may pass. Boiled beetles. Ah, they're everywhere!
Incendio! Is that a crest over there? You're the moron who's turned up to see someone who's not even here. Malfoy sent that message. Yeah, get him! You get him! You Come on then, Potter! Somewhere you won't find him. You're not supposed to tell him that, stupid. Doesn't matter. He won't get out of there, will he?
So Crab and Goyle attacked you? What's strange about that? Malfoy wasn't with them. Sometimes he's not even visible on the Marauder's map. Look! You must be missing him. I mean, he can't just disappear, can he? Maybe Hermione's right. Maybe I should forget about Malfoy and concentrate on Slughorn. But how am I supposed to get to his memory? I don't even know what a Horcrux is! Ron! Beautiful, isn't it? The moon? Uh, yeah. I can't stop thinking about her, Harry. I love her. But do you think she even knows I exist? Well, she's been snogging you for months. Snogging? I've never snogged Romilda. Romilda? Ron? Did you eat these chocolates? They're from Romilda Vane. They're full of love potion. Romilda. Do you know her, Harry? Can you introduce me? Yeah, she's... Uh, she's in Slughorn's office. Yes, she's definitely there. Follow me. Hi, Ron. Have you done your potions homework? I'm ready. You're a girl. I'm surprised you noticed, Ronald. I think Romelja would like flowers or chocolates. Don't mind him. He ate some love potion. I'm taking him to Slughorn's office. To see Romelda? Ah, oh, Romelda. One on! I've been looking for you. I got you up. Leave me alone. Harry's going to introduce me to Romilda Vane. One on! I'll explain later. Sorry to bother you, sir. I need some help. Where is she? What's the matter with Wenby? Weasley, sir. Romilda? That's a pretty name for a pretty witch. He's accidentally taken some love potion. I see the problem. Come in, I've got the necessary ingredients here in my bag. It's not a difficult antidote. I think we'd better make it quickly. Smoke, my boy! Hurry, hurry! Time and potions wait for no man! Oh, 
on there, Harry, my boy! All right, my boy. A little tonic for your nerves. What happened to me? Love potion. I feel really bad. Drink this. And a little pick-me-up for you too, Potter. <coughs> Ron? Ron? Professor, help him! What? What? Poisoned? He's been poisoned? Abazor! Brilliant thinking! You've just saved Wemby's life, my boy! See you, Miley. Oops. Pity you can't make a potion to help Ron with Lavender Brown. It was lucky you thought of that bazaar last night, Harry. It was lucky there was one in the room. Come on, it's almost time for the match against Hufflepuff. I'll see you at the Quidditch pitch. It's locked. Well, I want it, so give it to me. I want doesn't get. In this case, I think you'll find it does. What's the matter? You're sticking your nose where it's not welcome. That's the matter. Hey, Harry. Hiya. I heard you're impressing Slughorn with your skill at potion making. Any chance you can make a Lubilis potion for me? Yeah, okay. I'll make it for your potions club.
I hear Weasley's in the hospital wing. Yes, he's... Then you'll need a new keeper, and as I was best in the trials, I'll see you in the end. Ron was best at the trials, but we're stuck with you.